Amen. Blessed day, shalom, everybody. Amen. Everyone, I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I pray you are having a blessed day, and that God is faithful, gracious, good, and kind to all of you. For me and my household, we will be fine without the grace and the mercy of the Lord. I'm getting ready to go for work, but before we go to work, you know, you always have to spend some time in the presence of your maker. Sister Brenda Henry, hi sis, I'll get back to you, my sister. I've been very busy in a job, in a ministry, plus mother ring, plus wife ring, you know, I have too many titles to <laughs> to carry plus apostle of the lord so my sister forgive me brother gerard uh, isaac brown hello my brother may god bless all of you let's just spend some time in the presence of the lord because for me i don't want to miss a day or a minute to thank the lord to bless him to worship him or magnify his name sister karen good afternoon sis hello sister bosatos sister bosatos i'm still waiting for the ipad and the phone I don't know why you're doing it like this. But anyway, I'll leave it to the Lord. I'll put it all in jail. You have no rival. You have no echo. Now and forever, you are God on your own. You have no rival. You have no echo. Now and forever. You were the one Death could not hold you The veil torn before you You silenced the bush Of sin and grace The heavens are rolling At the mention of your glory For you will raise To life again you have no rival but you have no echo Jesus now and forever you are Lord exalted among all for yours is the kingdom yours is the glory yours is the night above every other night what a beautiful name, the name of Jesus. What a beautiful name, the name of Jesus. What a beautiful, mighty name. Nothing compares to your sacrifice. What a wonderful, mighty name, the name of
that I don't fall, stumble, or be dismayed. So what a beautiful, loving name. Nothing compares to you, my love, my Lord, my Savior and King. What a mighty name, Jesus Christ. Oh, I will sing 
of the goodness, the grace, and the mercy of your love, God. Your mercy and your goodness. When I see that little man, your mercy, say, I know you as a father, I know you as a friend. I have lived and still living. I'm still living in your mercy, your grace, Lord, your forgiveness. So I will bless your name. Nizaonga, Nizaonga, yes. Nizaonga, buye. Nizaonga,
Let me go and get ready for work now. You know, I already told you people that I'm not coming for a long time. Let me go and get dressed. I'll see you people for the prayer while it's time. Driving my... I know Papa Rokafila is bringing me today. So, I'm going to see how we're going to do the prayer, but we cannot miss the prayer. In fact, let's just go before the presence of the Lord according to 2 Peter chapter 3 from 1 there until 17, 18, I believe. It's telling us about the hour of the Lord. He is coming again. This is not a lie. He is coming again. Some have been questioning. I have heard about this Jesus coming again. My whole life. But I don't see him. Me, I believe and I know he is coming again. Cause I'm his living testimony. Oh, he is coming again. For without him, I would not be here. The hour of the Lord is come. He will come like a thief. Don't be caught unaware. Leave in spirit and in truth. Obey his commandments. And follow his precepts. Abide by his ways. And you will always be ready. And remember what he said he would do. You'll never ever lie. He's already coming, guess you didn't see it. When you receive Jesus in you, he's already come. The hour of the Lord is already upon. So you live according to his standard. Because when it comes in your life, he establishes a temporary kingdom. All for his spirit and his word. So you need to remember the ones in the world will question. And they will not believe God is coming again. But those who have received Jesus, we know he's already come. Because he came in our life. And it broke the shackles and chains of sin, diseases and sicknesses. And it removed financial barricades. And he opened our spiritual eyes. And he opened our spiritual ears. Now we know, because with his discernment, it's within us. He's already here. I'm only waiting. So I could sing these songs before his presence. I can only imagine what song I will sing for Jesus to thank him for everything. If not for him, this woman wouldn't be here. I can only imagine what kind of dance I would dance for my maker and my healer. My Lord, my shield and strength. The Lord is coming again soon and very soon. He is coming on the earth again. I said soon and very soon. He is coming on the earth again. And then there will be no more dying and crying. Jesus is coming to wipe and heal. There will be no more perish. New heaven for eternity death could not hold him the veil stone right before him he silenced the boost of sea and grave the heavens are rolling at the presence of his glory for he was raised back to the living again only one thing for God so loved the world that he gave his only son to die on the cross to bear our sins so anybody who believes 
shall not perish, but receive eternal life. So remember, He is calling. Fear nothing, for He's gone before. Don't be afraid, cause He lives with you. He's God on His own. Let me close my brothers and sisters. I'll see all of you very, very soon as we do the prayer. Well, Wallace Papa Papakara is bringing me for work. But everybody, have a blessed day. May God bless all of you and favor all of you. And don't forget, the Lord is coming again. Some people will say, I've been hearing it for a long time. And some people have lived old. They'll tell you, yeah, they've been telling this a long time. They are selling this Jesus. There's no Jesus you can sell because you cannot even buy life. <laughs> you see, people think they can sell their lives. Lie, lie, lie. They are souls. Sister, Brenda, and Sister Beta, Sister Tosent, my sisters, I don't understand what Facebook is doing when it comes to my stars. Sometimes they allow them, sometimes they don't allow them. So right now they're allowing the subscription button, but I don't know why they're blocking my stars. Because when I look on my screen right now, I just see the stars. And I see the star button also on top. So the enemy is coming up against us because he doesn't want me to feed people who are poor and hungry. I'm telling you, if the, the devil would not fight these stars, somebody receives that money to have food. Because you see how we all join here to praise and worship. The moment you ask people, let's feed the need, they start to say, you are not doing the, God, the work of God and you are forcing people. And some people have an excuse. But even the people who are praising and worshiping like me, a lot of them, my brothers and sisters, are hungry. And that's why when I say, let's feed the need. Because even the one that is sending you people in the presence of the Lord. Do you know their story? No. So if we are serving God in spirit and in truth, it shouldn't be a fight. And you see some of them always even have an excuse for rubbish. The Lord said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Feed your neighbor. Why are we always, you know when praise and worship is going on, they are all alert. The moment you say, let's feed the need. Yeah temper with them in a way that mm, they start to exit and leave and even start looking at you like this. My brothers and sisters. Eh? Sister Brenda, I received that one you sent, the 500 stars. God bless you, I received. But that's what I'm saying right now. They are blocking the stars. For no reason. Anyway, let's go to the paper. Let's help with the stars. Let's help in whatever way. Because even the same worshippers and praise worshippers, they are hungry. That's why I thank the Lord that he give me job. What if I was depending on ministry to eat? Let's, let's figure that out. You people would not mind to come every day that the Spirit pour out. He pour himself through me. I speak to all of you. But I'll be hungry. Nobody will care. And that's what's happening with a lot of people. And that's why when we ask you, let's help people. Thank God he gave me a job. The Lord saw it. Because you see Jesus, he don't want his people to beg. We pretend to love God. And we act. But the hour of the Lord is coming. Some of us are greediness. Just that greediness. We do everything right. But we are so greedy. We would rather spend on vanity than feeding the need. Which is sad and a shame. Anyway, I don't mean to offend anybody or injure anybody. And if it feels like it's personal, don't take it personal. I speak it to everybody, including me. Huh? And if you're a child of God. And if you're a child of God, that is the commandment of the Lord for me to speak direct to you. Because I can't go to the people of the world and tell them, give me food to feed my brothers and sisters. I come in to tell my brothers and sisters who want their friends to stand at the altar. Praise the Lord. Hours and hours. Bring them in the presence of the Lord. The only job they want to do is join. And when the church finish, they, they can really go. But the Lord said, we share the bedding. We are brothers and sister keepers for each other. Isn't it? Was I wrong? It's not my word. Go and check the Bible. May God bless all of you. I'll see you people. Have a blessed day. Shalom. Love all of you. And we are not fighting. Mama. Anyway, have a blessed day. Love all of you. And remember, God is coming.